Hello there folks, I'm here at Salute with Colin from Warlord Games. Hi. It's a big day for Warlord, there's a lot of new stuff uh, to talk about today. There certainly is, uh, I mean, it's been a great day, yeah. I mean, we're now near the end, but it's been and you've epic. Absolutely epic. epic. Epic indeed, more on that later. So first things first, the thing that everybody knew they would be able to buy today, Actung Panzer. Well, we've been doing demos non-stop since yep. 10 o'clock. I can, I can see you got them out there, yeah. The, t the team have been at it all day. Yeah. We had the authors here as well, so yep. they were helping out, and uh, it's been epic. I and, love that and, word. And the reception from the playtesting, people broadly enjoying the game? That's amazing. You know, everyone yep. loves the game. Everyone loves I the was, game. I was doing demos out in Adepticon. All right. I was oh, they flew you out to the States last week or the week yeah, before? Yeah, that was the week before, yes. I was out there doing uh, demonstrations. Yeah. And it's the same here. Everyone just thinks it's a great game. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, it's got a lot of granularity to it, which I hadn't expected. The word granularity has been used very often when playing the game. <laughs> and the detail of the game, buy the book and read the book. It's a great read. And yeah. it's got a lot of detail in there. And there'll yeah. be more detail to come. We're going to do a lot more with it. My first kind of gut response to it was, this is 1944, yeah. Northwest Europe, because there's a lot of stuff in here, but there isn't a Panzer III, and I want to do the desert, and there isn't a Panzer, um, you know, but you're saying that there's more down the line. Of course. Of, of course. course there is. We've got a lot of tanks. Supplements. You've got a lot of tanks. We and have resin a ones, as well as plastic. And we all want right. to, uh, we'll, you know, it'll come out with all those different ranges. They've given us a review copy. I've been ill this week, so I didn't get to make the review video, but you will see an unboxing video from us on Acton Panzer. Um, if you're interested, we've already played a tester game on the live stream. I'll put a link in the description. Next big thing today, which you announced a couple of days ago, is should we say the elephant in the room? It's a big elephant. It's a big, it's a very small elephant. So Bigger than the rest of the guys that are with. Yes, uh, Hail Caesar, epic. Hail Caesar, epic. We have uh, been uh, obviously had a lot of speculation in the last couple of years about yeah. whether we were going to do it. And we've been working in the background. Quietly. It's been held in a queue, it'll be answered shortly. Mm. Um, and, uh, and now it's here. And we've gone for the Carthaginians against the Romans. Excellent choice. You made the right choice there. I mean, Caesar's Wars, boo! Hannibal's the real enemy. You can, with the Hail Caesar period, you've got thousands of years of history. <laughs> Literally, yes. Thousands of Bronze years. Bronze Age collapse through the medieval period. Pike and Shot was a window of history about that big. Yeah. Hail Caesar covers, you yes. know, all the way up to, uh, yeah. you know, Because you Rose. just did the Wars of the Roses in the you, latest yeah, update, you, you, didn't you? You go from the system. prehistoric man chucking rocks at each other all the way up to Wars of the Roses. In terms of those kind of iconic wars and those infamous, there's legendary commanders. Hannibal's right up there, right? I think he was quite popular. You know, um, I think he he's a successful. famous loser, which is why we Brits love him. We, we love the underdog. Well, I mean, um, but have you seen, I mean, if you ever look at the models, you'll see the pictures. Hopefully people will be sharing them on social media mm. and you can see that they look lovely, don't they? They, they look, they look magnificent. Yeah. And also, I'm gonna get some pictures. It's the sprue that I like. One of the things I've really enjoyed about the, this is the one preview sprue they've got over here. This is the Romans, I think. Yep. Yes. This is the Romans. He's got this really clever design feature to get that density. That well, I mean, we've had all the other Epic Rangers. People yeah. were painting the front rank and the back rank. Yeah. And the bit in the middle was kind of... Was kind of iffy. Do you have to do it? Do you want to have to do it? No, you don't have to worry I don't about have to, it. Because there's a row of heads that goes in the middle. So the, the, there's a front, a back and a center piece. So on a base, you've got three ranks rather than two ranks. And they look really dense. And I remember interviewing John about the early epic, the American Civil War. And he said he wanted that sense of mass. Well, and, that's and the whole density. point is we're trying to get as many men in a very short area. Yeah. And this is a, just a brilliant way of doing it. Yeah. And it just gives you that whole impression of mass ranks of men fighting. And when can, when can people, so, I mean, they can see the sprue today, but, and if they come up to Warlord HQ, they probably can. But when will people be able to buy that beautiful starter set? I don't know definitively, but I was. Are we saying suspect... this year? Oh, definitely. Oh, no, no, summer. Are we the summer this year? Summer. Yeah. yeah like, yeah, yeah. On, people come to Warlord Day, they can go home with one. 
yeah. but they can pre-order one before that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah? Oh, so yes, that's, yes, yes. That's that's not that far down the line. No, no. I've seen lots of people in the studio sweating Swimish. away, working right. away. It's it's coming together. Because you've got some lovely painting models in the cabinet. We hopefully we've got some pictures for you there. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now the next thing that has taken me a little bit surprised is when we got sent our review. Kieran sent us a review copy. Acton Panzer. What are these cards in it? Oh yes. A bolt action board game. A bolt action board game. Tell me about a bolt action board game. We have always known uh, over the many trips that we've gone to events like this. Yeah. But in the board game market, like Essen, where you go to Essen. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's yeah. very much. And um, people come, they go, I have to paint it. Yes. <laughs> yes, you do. It's a hobby. Mm. And they go, not for me. I'm a yes. board gamer, not a war yes. gamer. So we've always wanted something that would appeal to the wider market. Yes. Something that will take bolt action beyond war gamers mm. into that board game market. Right. And this, we think, is the bee's knees. I've, uh, the, the set we've got is coming together now. It is going to go on Kickstarter. Not oh, because... right. This would be Warlord's first Kickstarter. Is that right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And the reason is, is that's where people market board games. It, it, it is. You know, it is. It's, we could have done it and just put it out. There's no problem. We didn't need a Kickstarter from, the, from that point of view, but it is where people review and, and buy the upcoming board games. And so is this ball action converted into a board game or is this a different game completely? Or do you not know the answer to that? I, well, I've, I've been play testing it a lot. All right. Are you allowed to say? Well, uh, we've taken demos to Essen and we've explained it to people, so I can tell you everything about it. Because the information is out there if you speak German. Absolutely. Right. Now, it is, it has, uh, it is a resource-based objective capture game. Resource-based? Well, so, like meeples and brown tokens No, no, and no. Stuff. You're going to have a, um, the uh, tokens. There's a large Damn. version of it. And there's a game. No, we'll take a still. There's a game piece size of it. Oh, this is the three up. Yeah, and yeah, that's the large one. Yeah, that's how the big it's going to be. Right. Okay. That's a surprise for you. That is a surprise. So, is this a bit like Undaunted? So, what you're going to have is you're going to have a board. You can choose the six, nine tiles, yeah. each with an objective on it. Yeah. And you start off with your own three. Yeah. You start with three. And you start off with um, total points. And if you capture objectives, they lose their 100 points. And it's a race to the bottom. Right. So if you lose, once you lose all your points, you're out of yeah. the game. Right. So you've got to capture objectives, which give you more resources. Mm -hmm. So you start with four units. Yep. And you want to build up to 10. And once you get to the higher levels, you can buy tanks and anti-tank guns and, and right. all that sort of stuff. And uh, you put them on the table, and then you play with them just like bolt action. You have a counter for each one, and you put it in a bag, and you draw it out, and you play bolt action like you would on a war game table. When these pieces interact with one another, you play a game of bolt action? Correct. So each turn, you have a fighting round. Oh, right. And then you have a token for each. Where I've got three men in a tank. You put those in a bag, and you draw them out just like right. you do bolt okay. action. Well, that, that sounds really interesting. Um, is it so? This is up on Kickstarter now or it's, soon or? It's coming soon. Coming soon. All right. There's one more thing to mention, just because the news is out there. You probably can't say anything. There was a leak. All action third edition. Sometime September-ish, am, am I right in thinking? Are you able to tell us anything about all action third edition, even if it's just to confirm the rumor? Well, watch social media. Watch the social media. You're going to be very hearing soon. more about it very soon. Very soon. You won't have to wait very long. All right, guys. Colin, thank you so much. My pleasure. So many great things coming out of Warlord this year. And more to come. More to come. We're going to see you at Warlord Day, I think. I certainly am. Bye. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content. Like the video. Maybe leave us a comment. Thank you.